So hello. That's uh, the trail again. I walked in June. Now it's August, and I'm here with the compagnon. And this is uh, where I came from, where we came from. We are from the valley. There's the Alpe, and all the way up. It looks a little bit damaged here. Everything, perhaps from heavy snow here on this altitude. And yeah, we came from there. And then here, to the right side. Oh, the companion is already is already finished. That's the companion. And normally there should be the Monte Rosa, but it's in clouds, and there's more and more clouds coming. When we arrived here, there was not so many clouds, but now it's uh, really much clouds. And we have called to go down there, in this direction. Two hours, three hours, perhaps. And then tomorrow, over this ridge there, with this empty area. And then, behind the ridge, and there, further up in the mountains in this direction, and then over the mountains there. Nice weather, companion? Mm -hmm. You are ready already? Yes, I am done. Whew. So, and the cookies. Cookies. Uh, look there in there. I, I saw. There I saw, is. I noticed. There's a dude. I am. It's a dude. Hmm. <clears throat> now, yeah. we proceed now down in the valley to Rimala. Uh, Rimala. So my companion and I, we are now close to Rimella, really down, it's so hot. And the last time I didn't film here anymore. I don't know why, because I was so exhausted also. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, now, this time, we can film a little bit from uh, the villages. Something of the villages, uh, which we are walking through. Because they look really impressive. and. Uh, I'm not sure, but in 20 minutes we should be at the first houses around the corner somewhere. It should be, and it's so hot, by the way. Companion, where are you? What are you doing? Just walk. Fall not down here on the left side. Yeah, hot. We had already, I think, four liter of water here per person and we all, always got something from the rivers here from the small creeks and now no not now it's still a while to go yeah I will come back when we are in the first houses then and then I can also show you the apartment. And by the way, there was some rain the last days. You can see this here. Motorbiker. Motorbiker. Yeah. So that's now the first houses here of the settlement above Rimella. So Rimella is a little bit low. But let's see what here is. If you look on the right side, there is a Wi-Fi sign even. If you stand there. Oh, the companion let me pass by here. Oh, that's a strange trial. A Villa Superiore. Dorf. Ooh. What a terrace, and this is where we're walking tomorrow. You have seen this from the other videos, perhaps, or you can look the other video the GTA track 2. Down there is somewhere Rimella here, hidden in the trees, and then it goes down the right side. This village there, this village there, and then over the ridge behind there, up in the mountains further. 
Ein Look, der ist evil. Ein Wi-Fi sein hier. Und der ist zum Shooting hier. Wi-Fi Zone. Ja. Bullet. So, that's the first village, village here. I think it's Village Superiore. Or it comes later than there below. But uh, this is the one, this is the first of three, and we have to go down to the third. So, and here on the left side, you can see something exquisite. The balcony, balcony, balconies. And this was for drying of hay. Balcony, nice. And here are the flat stones. Look at this here. That's to supply some heavy things. Here, a caterpillar. There's some people lying around. I better turn off. Balcony. Dangerous things in the dark here. So I think we must go left. First, yeah, there is there is drink water. First we get some drinking water. Who knows? So, somewhere must be the road, perhaps it is this one, it was not, who knows. It looks like, like a dead end, but not really. Jesus. So that's the room. That's the room with the Madonna, and the beds. And look here, if you come in, you are directly in the bed here. Companion, what are you saying? It's uh, it's tiny, but uh, it's very handy. Everything you need, you have everything what you need, even uh, a mirror and um, really nice stuff. Exactly. So that's the companion's bed. That's my bed here. If someone comes in, someone. Look, can't even open the door really. Yeah. But it's okay. And uh, then you have this nice bass. And I looked around the corner when I ordered the bass, so a little bit like this here. And if you go completely around the corner, you see that the bass tub is only one meter wide. It's the smallest bass tub I have ever seen. So I expected to lay down here a little bit, but <laughs> this will not happen, unfortunately. <laughs> so I try. <laughs> I try. No, you can sit here inside. Look, there is a step here. Sure, you can sit. This is to sit here. Jesus. And there's even uh, something to wash the clothes. That's exactly what I want to do. And there's even a shower. Hmm. That's the view. Oh, spider webs on the right side there. Okay, so then need to wash the clothes and everything and ourselves and then it's walking time again oh no led lighting here but that's quite a comfortable room yeah it's a comfortable room but um, oh what's this it's an emergency light here oh what lampada led per campeggio jesus this is Perhaps when there's a power outage. But we have our headlamps. Oh, no, there is no electricity here. That's the reason for this lamper. 
Oh, it's not working. Really? No, the lamp is not working. Do That's you the reason for this uh, do battery you lamp? Electricity today. Let me check this here. This is working. Okay. Only the lamp adapter is not working. So that's the dining room. That's the view. Oh, that's not the wide angle lens here. What's this here? No one knows. Okay, and we walk here, right? And then here, up, up, up. To the ridge there. And then over this hill to the other side. Look at the standing room. So that's the next morning, that's the Compagnon. And I'm filming currently with my cell phone. That's again Rimella. Really late, nine o'clock. And what I wanted to show you is this machine here. Look. And yesterday they work, were working on this. That's an amazing machine if you look at this here. <laughs> Simple but doing its job I think. And classic. Barrel here. Jesus. What a what a machine. So, and we walk now here in the valley, and then on the opposite side here, left, and over the ridge. See you then. So now we are on the opposite side here. The church, this is Rimella, and here is the village, which is not accessible by car. It's only accessible by rope train. How is it called? It's not called rope train. Look, there's paintings even on the wall there. Naja. So in this direction is Rimella. And here we are on top of this ridge with a small settlement. So, that's here the top. This was the top here somewhere. Oh, the companion speaks also. And then that's the last town, and we are go right to Alpe Barranca. So now we are a little bit further up the valley. We go this direction. It's strange to film with my cell phone, but I'm too lazy get my camera out and uh, this is uh, something to commemorate Vincenzo Lancia I think the marriage or something like this if you can translate this I can't and here are so many cars you can see people there on the right side in the river and there and it must be so cold uh, because it's uh, Sunday and uh, people are uh, enjoying here something and we enjoy our suffering going further up to the next village and then on the right side in this valley not in this in this so we are now a little bit higher after this small village there below and still a little bit cloudy here on top but sometimes the sun comes through. What's the companion making there? There. So and then it goes further up there on the other side of the valley, somewhere. Uh, yeah. And it's not too far anymore. It's currently hot here, climbing up. And there are so many people coming from uh, the top because it's set, uh, Sunday. And there's still the sun behind there. Yeah. Let's see. 
again a little bit higher and that's the ridge which we have passed and still hot and so many people coming from the top and there again coming some people or oh, some children children and still some clouds here yeah so we arrived now and I tried to go a little bit more in distance to film everything around because this has also not much a uh, how is it called wide angle lens so I go there ah, yeah. this is now possible and that's the Alpe Barranca this one there's the Compagnon sitting around and behind me there's the clouds coming uh, you must be careful that they are not doing something with me but I don't think and this looks nice here in this kind of valley and oh there are still coming people down and uh, the trail goes can I see this here yeah that's the trail that's the trail and the trail goes there 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 there, there in this direction and then there there through uh, the valley there behind and by the way there's the sun behind the clouds so there's no sun anymore here below and it's always a little bit cold it's 1600 meter high I think and now the cows are coming home I think they are living there behind somewhere I'm not sure I could go up a little bit to see what's behind it's really noisy now. Oh. Huh. Jesus. The good thing is that there's no insects here except mosquitoes. There are a lot of mosquitoes. And there's also a river behind, a small river. Let's have a look to the river. I don't know what happened here with the grass. I think this came from the cows. And I don't know what's in this house here. And uh, the Alpe Barranca that burned down here uh, in 2014 and has been rebuilt after it was burned down. And the last time I was here it was much more water, but I think the river itself is behind here. The river. And this is only a small part of the river. Looks nice here. Ah, there's a fence and there's even... Um, how's it called? Um, goat. Oh, there's a dog coming. And there are people walking. Just be careful. The river is there behind. And now... The dogs are pushing the cows here home. You can watch this here. Now they are running. They are going this direction into the fence. I will try to cross here the river somehow and just collect the stones I think there's a river behind here a bigger river yeah there are seen even people coming there below with a t-shirt it's not too cold but if you walk all the day, then it's uh, hot. And then here it's a little bit colder. I think it's only 20 degrees. And look at how blue this is there in this direction where we came from. Nice. First time I have to display on my camera. Because normally on the Sony, there's no display. There's even here a stabilization. 
No, okay. I think they will they stay there then because then we'll make some noise during the night. Let's see. And the good thing is, uh, but I mentioned this in another video, this uh, Alper has a water turbine for electricity production. So there's nice electricity, always hot water from the electricity and hot shower. Oh, there's one coming late, but the dogs are not doing anything. They are really quiet today. Let's see if they attack the... No, they're not doing anything. It's coming late. Hurry up! So that's the Alpe Barranca in the morning at 7.30. Well, there's even a sign. I think this wasn't last time. And phone number, nice. And that's the Alpe Barranca. It's really nice. Absolutely nice. And now it goes up all the way the hill. And it's a little bit foggy, but there's also blue blue sky above. So I expect to have then a little bit more clear sky is also coming some fog from the valley. This is from the warmth which comes here. So later there will be more blue sky. Hmm. And uh, there's a little bit sun coming through. And you can see there the clouds or the fog coming from the valley from the heat already and shifts through this uh, gap here uh, upwards more because of the heat of the density of the air gets lower and then it goes upwards with the heat of the day and then everything will be removed and yeah you can see there the Alpe Barranca the green is perhaps a turbine I don't know but there's definitely a shrine and this is the old uh, Mulateria and now it goes further up here in this direction through the gap and there comes someone and this is I think behind I see it already the uh, waterfall Barranca so it's always nice to stay at Alpe Barranca what do you say? yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so this was uh, built last time I walked here uh, when I told that there's the dude and look how steep it goes here on the right side. So this was really dangerous to make it here with the um, excavator. Oh, Jesus. Some seconds before you couldn't see anything really and now it clears up. Look at this amazing, uh, amazing view. Jesus. And that's the difference between fog and no fog. Um, that's the trail we came from there. And unfortunately, there's a bush behind here. Um, but uh, you can see the trail here. Looks really nice. I hope that, but it looks so that it's clearing up now. Here you can see, you can see the moving thicker clouds and they are pushed out of the valley there from the heat. And it's even a little bit sunny, so nice. So there's again the Alpe Barranca, and here's the Barranca waterfall. And you can see here the, everything moves now away. So that's a really nice view, but there are again coming some more thicker clouds. But it looks good. Last time you couldn't see even here and watch the video. There you can see that you can see nothing at the end. Yeah, nice view. So I think it will take three hours instead of one hour to reach the pass. <laughs> but we have time. And even with the sun, this would be so nice with the sun here. So, there's a river, a river Barranca perhaps, I don't know. There's already coming some fog again. And look here. 
there is a, a lago and in the distance I see the Lancia Villa which was, you can't see this, it's, uh, only if you know it you can see it because uh, it differs not really from uh, the rocks anymore because it was destroyed in the Second World War because of military uh, importance and uh, there is the lago, Lago Barranca I think and nice to see it here now. Oh, there's a thick fog wall coming. Look how nice this looks. And then there on top the villa. Looks a little bit dirty here everything. But this is pollen. And algae. I can't see anything here. Inside. There's fish here. And in uh, this is 1700 meter perhaps here. So in uh, it's August, middle of August, and in uh, four weeks there will be already winter again here coming when there will be the first snow on the side. Oh, yeah, I see a small fish, a very small fish. And then uh, there will be the first snow again. So you can see the plants are not high. No time for the vegetation. And here's the fog wall coming again. So it's always more and less fog coming from below. And currently there's a time with less less of fog. And there you can see the Lancia mansion there, the Lancia Villa there on top of the rock. And there are some cows and there's a village. And we will make a break there. Uh, a short uh, tea break at the Lancia village. Yeah, it gets thinner, the sun is even shining more here. So step by step it will be more view. Oh. oh, now we are at the village, which was once in fog, it's currently also in fog, but not so much. And there comes a breeze behind us, which removes the fog a little bit, I think. And look at this, on the right side is water, there's even a mountain on the right side, I think. Yeah, there's a mountain on the right side. Look how high the mountain is when it comes out of the fog there. Jesus. This might be the flag which we saw from uh, above, uh, from below. So, El Companion. Alpezelle. Ah, this is Alpezelle. And that's a huge mountain here. Oh, there's still too much fog here. This is Alpezelle. Interesting. We can have an accommodation here. It's possible. Here in the mountains. At 1,800 meter, looks not much different than the last time, but I think this wasn't so well done. Everything last time, and Pifi Panacea Albergo, it's the Albergo. Oh, there's sheep. Hopefully no dogs. Let's see. Then we'll have a dog attack live on camera here.
Jesus. What a what a scene. Look at the nice trail here, by the way. And everything full with feces. And this year I shot last time also, this was once an albergo. Uh, some kind of hotel. Oh, there's even a horse here on the left side. Horse. And... Oh. They were a little bit scared now because of my appearance. And uh, this was once in a bergo here. It still is. So it clears up now a little bit. You can see there the lago and there's even the sun coming there. It's really promising. And uh, this, as I said, the albergo. And there are people living. And this is uh, the Lancia mansion there. And I haven't seen this in the fog last time really. And there's the sun coming. What a nice view here. part here and the company made a discovery if you look here in this direction the last time I thought it's a terrace and if you look closer here what Jesus if you look closer the company has seen it there's a, I thought it's for a flag but no it's for a pipe it's definitely for a pipe for a well, for an artificial well. And you can see here even the outlet. There's the outlet. So this, everything, this was a pool. Very simple, a pool. So look here, we're here in the mountains up with this nice pool on top and then behind the lake. Yeah? You can imagine there the water here with this artificial looking natural pool yeah, because here these rocks were put together and uh, it looks like a really natural pool but it was actually artificial made here and here the pipe going here from here below and coming from there unfortunately in this time there was no warm water but uh, indeed it's a pool nice so, we proceed now, it's cold here, and then we go up to this ridge there behind, to the, to the next valley. They will get safe. It's a lot of cows here coming from above, from there on top. And there are the dogs. That's a small cow. It's a huge traffic jam here. They are going lower now and it's uh, 
huge amount of cattle here. What is this having there? Ah, it's a ring. There's a traffic jam now here. Jesus. Now they are standing still here. <laughs> because of the traffic jam, you can hear. That's not noisy anymore. Oh no, they are peeing here. And soon they will proceed. Traffic jam. Traffic jam, uh, Alpine style. So, it's time to leave now. Oh no, it's... Now they get angry here. Oh, the dogs are coming. Up more in elevation and I haven't seen anything of it last time. Oh, this is steep here. Should be careful. And there's the cattle traffic going on. And look at these mountains here. Must be careful to go back here somehow. I should do this again here. Film. And last time, this was full of rocks when I walked here eight weeks ago. And I take this a little bit as a training for the more difficult um, parts then which come later with 1200 meter elevation gain. So I will have uh, today already then um, 1000 meter elevation gain only at the end. It's not too much. I remember this was everything here full with rocks and now this is everything green with grass and there were even small rivers. Yeah, and this is the valley where we came from. Alpe Barranca and we are really slow today, but this is good. That's not a competition and that's in the front of us. There on top where you can see the small bright between the clouds, there is the pass where we have goes through. So it is not too far away anymore, it's perhaps 20 minutes. And uh, then we are on the Colle. This is the Colle de Egua. The Egua Pass. I can't see this here, really, but do do your work. I can tell you then. And we will proceed, look at this here, if you go to the ridge here, back. So there was a bivaco, and the interesting thing was that it's really a luxury uh, bivaco was there. Normally you only have bed, but there was everything, even electricity it seemed like. Um, and here, there we came from, clear on the left side, there is the complete darkness with the fog. Oh no, it's clearing up. I can see already something again. So uh, one hour lower there is everything clear, so there is no fog anymore. And we will proceed. Ah, it's clearing up uh, already here. There's a little bit of wind. And you can see now, ah, you can see now even in the distance, this is clearing up so fast. Look, Compagnon. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's always amazing when it clears up to, from one second to the other. And uh, somewhere below there is the village. I'm not sure where. I think this is really Cacoforo. And tomorrow we walk there on the opposite side up over this ridge there. And one of our Below, I said, there is our lunch destination or half an hour, only that we are out of the fog here. And uh, also, there's a little bit of wind situation here, uh, because it's always on ridges that the wind, you see this here, goes over. Oh, there's an eagle. No, that's perhaps, uh, I don't know how they are called. This... Uh, animals. No, anyway, they communicate. Maybe it's a meerkat. 
Yeah, this is what I mean. And there's the bivaco behind. You can see the, the exhaust. Oh, no, it's getting cold now. Yeah, it's getting cold. Let's go. So this is our destination for today, Carcoforo. Here's a shrine on the right side. And uh, this direction is the hotel there. And as you can see, looks nice. And by the way, next day, tomorrow, it goes up there. There. It's really steep. But uh, you are then on top in two hours. It's not much more. Um, where's the antennas? There were some antennas. No, but anyway, uh, let's proceed now. And it's not too far anymore. Ten minutes. And then we are in the village here. Ich werde noch mehr sehen davon. So, wir sind now in the valley, in Karkoforo. And after we have checked in our hotel, and looks similar to the last time, doesn't change, didn't change anything. And look here, this is in the middle of the town. There's a church, you can see a big church from inside. Perhaps I should go uh, inside again a little one minute because this looks really impressive. This uh, Catholic church, if I'm already here. Oh. Church in the mountain village. So, and here we have such a classic building, old drying grass. of the town you have here this animal how is it called forgot it yeah where the animals live this is how this So that's Kakoforo in the morning. That's the Hotel Alpenrose where we came from, which is the Refugio, Refugio Alpenrose. And this is where we came from there on top of the mountains. It's really cold here. Perhaps only 10 degrees or 12. And but we are going in the sun here, left side. And this will be soon very hot. Because it's steep. And I expect to be in two hours, two or three hours on top uh, there of the ridge. Definitely before um, before lunch. <coughs> and then uh, it goes down on the other side. And then we are somewhere in Rima. And, uh, Last time everything was here in fog. I couldn't see anything and now it's absolutely blue, clear sky in this direction. This direction is a little bit clouds, but uh, there will be no clouds then really, I think, during the next two, three hours. So now we are a little bit higher 
on uh, the trail to Rima and it's really brilliant weather compared to last time and you can see where we came from yesterday no this isn't where we came from yesterday it's behind the corner or is it no I'm a little bit confused the town is there no we came from there exactly we came from there over this ridge there behind yeah exactly and we are already really high mm -hmm. and it goes really steep here but this time no clouds so that's the view a little bit higher nice sun the last time as I said I was in fog here already and couldn't see anything and here behind the plateau uh, there's a plateau I mean and look at the sky there's not even one cloud and there is Kakoforo and you can clearly see there where we came from yesterday nice again a little bit higher you can see this on the other side how high we are and the pass from yesterday 2100-2200 meter and oh there's a dog and um, we are going over this pass then there uh, uh, above there somewhere oh the dog is watching us and uh, it's not too far anymore and there will be a village and uh, last time this was completely in fog here everything and you couldn't see anything yeah and I will make here a little short video from last time so I'm now a few hundred meters further up and you can see here there's still snow and the vegetation is growing really fast after the snow is last gone time. And there's the hut I think I also filmed here the last time no well, on the dog let's see if the dog is attacking us so further up and oh there's a small hill in front of me in front of us and this was full of fog I couldn't see anything here the last time and I think it was even snow here this was a part and I will check this on the recording from last time I think there was even snow here a snow field so this is how it looks at 2150 meter there's still snow left and everywhere it's humid uh, and wet rivers flowing and there's the pass not too far away perhaps 20 minutes and then we are on top very nice and we have only seen one other hiker coming from top there and no one else I oh, know there was a there was a rancher how's it called sheep sheep oh, I forgot it you know what I mean some guy some dude watching the sheep this looks really nice much better than the last time and look at this poor guy he lost his life here oh Jesus there was a sheep there are some more sheep and there are some crows there and there's the pass not too far away anymore it's totally quiet here what a view here yeah. Look at this sharp ridge. Here, yeah. five meter wide or even two. And this where we came from, Kakoforo, there where we came the day before, and behind the other mountains. And here on the left side, or right, whatever, there's the Monte Rosa. That's the first time I have a nice view on the Monte Rosa here. Uh, that's one of the highest mountains of Europe. 4,300 I think there's a glacier even behind uh, before in front and, uh, and that's Rima below there we go I think it's only two hours to go there but it's really steep and tomorrow we will go there 
And then behind and uh, the next valley behind this ridge here, that's the famous Valsesia, the valley of the Zesia with Alanya. And there's uh, a lot of tourist happening there currently. It was not possible for us to get a room, even if there are hundreds of hotels and even yeah, you can spend three hundred dollar for a room. No chance. What a nice view here. And the last time it was completely in fog. I will show you this here in the video. So I'm on top of the ridge here. Look how steep it goes down. And luckily there is uh, no fog here. There's a little bit of a gap here. You can see there's coming a uh, fog here up. There's even a little bit uh, without fog and blue sky. You could climb there. This mountain, uh, but it's uh, as I said, too dangerous. Here's also fog coming up now from the valley. And by the way, I have your best LTE connection here on top of the mountain in the video. Oh, this was completely in fog. And then you stay there and have no idea how it looks really. And there was only this sharp ridge visible. So that's Rima. We nearly reached our destination, uh, which is Rima, and uh, a little bit further south, where we will be catched up here in Rima uh, to our hotel. And uh, look, this nice place here with the waterfall behind. And tomorrow we walk up there. It's really steep again, but behind you have seen it. Uh, yeah, there's again a pass where we go over the mountains to the Valsesia, uh, to the Zesia village uh, valley. Look at this old church here. So, there are so many tourists here. And these are mostly Italians because here in August it's also the Italian holiday and there's a uh, oh the restaurants are full Jesus uh, Italian holiday season here nice if you come in here so so This is 7.30 in the morning now and uh, this will be our last hike here up uh, what you have seen here before um, The sign said 2 hours 30, perhaps 3 hours we have to walk, pure walking time and Then again 2-3 hours down Tja, there's completely no one here but let's go. We have to catch a bus on the other side then in Alanya. Much higher now. There's Alpe below and very much below. There's the valley where we came from. Uh, the village. Rima. And uh, there's the uh, other side, the ridge of the other side. We came from there. On top there, a little bit in the fog. And we also will have a little bit of clouds here. And it's good that we started so early could end up really in fog uh, on top but we have to catch the bus also and this is not really clear weather when we started it was completely clear and there are really some clouds forming but it's not longer than one hour and one hour we are on top behind there on the ridge so everything fine it's also really good with the clouds that it's not so hot and this is currently 2000 meter and uh, last time, as I said, it was completely in fog and then I show you uh, the video from last time and there's even the snow left from winter. So again a little bit further and I show you the video from last time. And it's getting a little bit better. You can see there the other side of the valley. 
And you can see also the cross there, a little bit better. Uh, but there's still time to um, perhaps one and a half hours till I'm on the ridge. But look at this village. And can you imagine you to live here? Perhaps 20 years ago, the people they still were living there. There's glass in the windows. There's an open door. There are locks on the door. Time. There's a little bit fog, but look how nice this looks here. And there's the forgotten village of last time in the fog. And behind there's even snow there on the left side in the ridge. And yeah, look this village. It's amazing. If you have lived here 100 years ago without anything except some cows and goats. So now we are on top of the ridge here. And I can show you also how it looked last time. And there's even today more and more clouds here and more and more fog. And here's the shrine again. Shrine. There's even some alcohol, I think. Is this alcohol? No. Well, I don't know. It's a little bit like water or like nothing. Perhaps it's oil. I don't know. Okay. There's the other side. That's the Valsesia, the Zesia Valley. On the other side, and you can see there are a lot of clouds here. And we are really early. It's 10.15 in the morning. And we hurried up to reach our bus. And there's one bus at 2 p.m. Then there's another 3 p.m. And the last is uh, 5 p.m. I think we will even catch the first one at 2. This will be really amazing because the bus goes anyway two and a half hour to Vercelli and then it's already five. This would be great. Oh, there's a big cloud. So let's proceed. It's also cold here. This is 2,300 meter. So the other side looks completely different now, like last time. Still a while. There's Elania. There is a refugio. And there, straight on somewhere, there was I was on top. And there's still everything in clouds here. A little bit higher, but lower there is no clouds. And you can see there's the sun in Alanya. 